Hello there. Welcome back to another episode of Creating Heads in Fusion 360. In this episode, we're going to link up the area surrounding the eye and extend the surface to the top of the forehead. By selecting the two outermost lines on the cheek surface, drag up and begin to create some new sections, making sure the size of the new sections are consistent with the rest of the surface. Modify it so the surface follows the shape of the eye but maintains offset from it. As you drag up your sections, try to follow the edge of the face. You will certainly make changes later, but it's worth editing as you go along. In addition to the nose and the lips, the eyes and the brow ridge are the most important features to get right in the whole model. Try and position the sections above the eye so that they follow the shape of the eyebrow. Now we're going to drag across a new section from above the brow to close the gap before we eventually weld it together. There are three ways of doing this. We could add, drag and curve new sections so that the two separate end edges line up and then weld them together, but that would affect the sections on the forehead. We could drag the segment up from the right hand side until the two sections lined up above the brow. This would suffice, however it's easiest if you drag the brow segment across from above the brow to the right and weld it at the bottom. Like so, it's a bit difficult to explain in words, but drag across and we don't compromise the forehead. Make adjustments to the areas around the eye. It's at 600% speed here, so pause the video if you need to. I should also point out that now would be a good point to save your work. It's something I used to be quite poor at until I had a few crashes on my old laptop. Now I tend to do it rather frequently. We're going to add some sections heading towards the peak of the forehead. It's the same method we've always done, you know, alt drag. When creating sections on the forehead, I tend to space them out much more since there is less undulating detail on the forehead compared to the rest of the face. Editing the forehead is probably the simplest part of the whole model while working in 2D, as we are currently. But getting the depth right in 3D is challenging to say the least. Unlike the nose or the chin, the lack of undulation on the forehead doesn't give us much reference on how it fades away at the sides. Luckily, if you get the other features right, it's something that most people won't pick up on. While you model, make sure you weld the corners off at the peak of the forehead. It reduces the amount of surfaces on the head, which is good for the model, and one less thing to edit. Once I've dragged the forehead up to the hairline, I'm usually ready to begin with the 3D aspects of the face which we will cover in the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.